Okay, so moving forward, Super Tuesday was a disaster, but it is now in the rearview mirror. It's all done but the shouting. California will come in eventually. Okay, we're done with that. So now, what do we do now? Okay, I've got ideas. I'm sure you've got ideas. And so I think we just need to put all of our brains together. Everybody out there has really good ideas what we should do. And so what do we do as a movement going forward? Okay, my number one thing that I want to see now from Bernie Sanders supporters that I think is very crucial is we got to stop with all of the Elizabeth Warren should do this, that, and the other thing. We gotta stop with it. The Elizabeth Warren train has left the station, that ship has sailed, the, the, the die is cast, the, the cake is baked. I mean, whatever you, whatever you wanna use, it's done, right? She's shown her true colors. Her cards are all laid on the table. If you're covering your eyes because you don't want to look at it, then that's on you. But I think at this point, we need to acknowledge that she is persona non grata. That's that's I mean, that's how I'm treating her at this point. She is just as bad as Biden, as far as I'm concerned, in terms of what my approach is going to be would be going forward. Um, like I'm not looking at, oh, does she want what does she want? Do we need to negotiate with her? Does she want a VP slot? Does she want she doesn't want anything but to destroy Bernie Sanders candidacy? And she needs to be treated as such at this point. That's it. She's done. It's not about, oh, well, maybe she needs to stop calling for her to drop out. And do this and do that and do the other thing. She's not going to do any of that. She's not listening to anyone. She's not seeing. She's not listening to reason. If it comes to if she really is truly still progressive and cares about the progressive movement, she's not listening to reason. So we need to move forward. She needs to be treated like any other um, political opponent. She needs to be defeated. That's what needs to happen with Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren needs to be defeated. OK, so that's all there is to it. Um, so number one, stop calling for her to do stuff. because She ain't going to do anything. She's going to continue running. She put out something last night, sent, sent out a letter to her supporters, basically just asking them to waste more of their money on her pointless, fruitless campaign. OK, so that's number one. Number two. I think we need to get more aggressive, not necessarily we as supporters being more aggressive online because some of y'all are a bit extra already. <laughs> but in terms of the campaign's focus, I really want to see this campaign go after Joe Biden on a few things, Social Security, Medicare, like, come on, like. Let's go, like, let's go. This is just, we, we, you know, we know who Joe Biden is, what he has advocated for. We have him on, on video. You're not going to gaslight us and think that he's some uh, person who's been wonderful standing up for these things. Bernie Sanders has got to make that case so he can get some more of these older voters. He's got to make that case. Um, this is the guy who's tried to cut these government programs over and over and over and over again. You got to make that case. <clears throat> um, um, we got to expose the lies. I mean, this guy just lies. He lies and lies and lies. It's just so funny. We talk about Donald Trump lying. Uh, yeah, this guy does too. I mean, oh, I was arrested in South Africa. You know, oh my gosh. You know, yeah. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Were you arrested here in the United States with civil rights protesters too? It, it, will be, it won't be long before we find out he was arrested with the civil rights protesters here in, in, in the United States. Right. Sure, Biden. Sure. Keep making up these tall tales. Paul Bundy Biden. I mean, he's constantly making up stuff. So we need to expose the lies. We need to show that to be what it is. We also need to go after the media. The media is not popular. It's not about going after them unfairly or just calling them the enemy of the people like Donald Trump. It does. It's about showing where their biases are and being real and upfront and honest about that. Um, and then we as people need to do our best to get the word out there that Biden is in cognitive decline. I mean, let's face it. Uh, Sanders isn't going to do it. He's not going to touch it. He's not going to touch that with a 10 foot pole. And to be fair, Sanders is not a doctor. <laughs> so, you know, he's not in a position to be making any kind of diagnosis. But something's wrong with him. Something wrong with him. Mm -hmm. Something wrong with him. Don't remember what state he's in. Don't remember what he's running for. Thinks he's going to appoint the first African American woman to the Senate. I mean, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> 
we've got we've we've had African American women women in the Senate. It's okay. Oh, and you don't appoint anybody to the Senate. <laughs> Forgot that little detail. All I mean, like, <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Anyway. So whatever. Um. <clears throat> So I think those are the the biggest things we can do. Continue the phone banking, canvassing, calling, whatever it is that you're doing, donating, whatever it is you're doing, uh, speaking to the fa your family members in states that haven't voted yet. Um, just getting the word out there and just continuing on because we can't we cannot put Biden up against Trump. We cannot put Biden up against Trump. It's just. That's a disaster waiting to happen. Deuce.